yeah, Set, you nah, 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 nah. Oh, good. No, yeah, no, they're gonna no, feel no, no, and no, they won no. the game. <laughs> USA no. won the game and no. they won the no oh what a no <laughs> I told Sarah I wanted to sing and, and she said absolutely not and I sang anyway <laughs> sorry about that sorry about that <laughs> US is feeling good because they won I'm um, so how's it going everyone US has won its first game since September 6th. They have won. <laughs> they snapped a three-game losing streak. Three games! I know, and if it was going to be four, I don't know what was going to happen, but uh, thankfully it didn't happen. Yeah, it was. And you know what? I think we might read some comments at the very end of the this video, but, you know, people in our last comment section basically said, it's not humiliating to lose against the top, the very top teams in the world, which was England, which was Spain, which is Germany. It's not, that's just the top level talent. So if you lose against a team, it's good. It, oh, it's, it's an honor. It's no. understand <laughs> <laughs> understandable if you're going to lose against those teams. And that's why U.S. is playing these teams, because I heard Julie Foudy talk about it. They could have played lower tiered teams, I think. No, we need the highest ranked teams we can, because that's how you get better. And that's how you prepare for the World Cup. Yeah. So U.S. Women's National Team against Germany um, on November 13th. And USA won. And it was a fun game. It really was a fun game. We're going to talk a little bit about the game and kind of like just the feel. How we were feeling. Watching it as fans. How we were feeling. And Our because hopes and dreams. It was, it was exciting games. I guess one of the exciting things was to see Alyssa Nair back in goal. That's Sarah's favorite. Yes. yes. She really is Sarah's favorite. Heart skips a beat every single time you see her. Ooh, it flutters. <laughs> and also, again, for Germany, Alex Pop again started, and but Lena Oberdorf started, which she did not start in the last game. So she started. It's going to be a fun game. I, I guess starting off in the first 10 minutes, uh, Germany was, they were kind of, I don't want to say dominating, but as the commentators were saying, they were on the front foot early. They kind of set the rhythm. They are, they're a very disciplined team. And at the end of the uh, the game, the commentators kind of talked about, they're just a very disciplined team. And it shows. And from the very beginning, it, it, you can tell. They have a plan. They're very disciplined. They know. They see the ball. You know, I see three steps ahead of where they're passing it, I feel like. Because I feel like some teams, they kind of willy-nilly pass it to each other. But mm -hmm. Germany is a team three steps ahead, you know. They have ESP. They <laughs> sense where it's going and... You know, the players they are there. do. And USA, the first 10 minutes or so, again, you know, they didn't really have a great rhythm. They didn't have a rhythm. A couple passes and they turned it over to Germany. You know what I mean? Yeah. They really ha didn't have great rhythm. You know, Germany is aggressive. They they are not holding back. Even in the 10th minute, I don't know who it uh, Rose Lavelle went down a foul on Germany. I'm not exactly sure what player it was, but she got a big tug of the jersey. And she went down, and Germany wasn't messing around. Um, also, this is a side note. I really enjoy Germany's kits. I think they're very stylish. You like the way they hang on them. Not I too do. tight. And loose like enough. The lettering. Yeah, I, well, I told you when I first saw them, I go, ooh, I like that. Right. It's very chic. Um, about the 12th minute, United States seemed to come alive. About the rhythm, about the 12th minute. Then in the 15th minute, there was actually there was actually a yellow card on Mal Pugh in a kind of a dangerous spot. But it just showed you Germany was uh, playing aggressive. You know, a yellow card in the 15th minute. And that's the kind of game it was. And we're going to maybe talk about this later. But every couple of minutes, someone went down and someone went down hard. It was a very physical game. Yeah, even bloody at one point. Yes, yes, exactly. Then 17th minute goal goal and german goal <laughs> but it just looked like it just very unlucky i think that was a very unlucky mm -hmm. uh german goal because Alyssa slipped a little bit and that right when she slipped i don't think she had hope of getting the ball after yeah, she looked, slipped looks like she slipped like a few times um yeah just unfortunate yeah she said there was some traffic in front i don't know if she didn't see the ball completely clearly but i think it was mostly because she slipped she would have gotten that ball if she didn't slip and, you know, those kind of goals happen. Germany was one up. And again, or USA being down, you know, that's never a fun place to be. Then Andy Sullivan went down and she went down hard and she got a bloody nose. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a very physical game, but she came in, she was out, then she came back. It looks like she just had the bloody nose. 
But, uh, you know, anytime those kind of inner injuries happen, it does impact you. But I wonder if it also kind of helps you and hypes you up, too. Then after that happens, uh, Lena Oberdorf goes down and she goes down and she goes down hard and she hurts her shoulder. And as soon as she goes down, you can see she's right holding her shoulder and uh, it, we don't, and there was a picture right after she was holding her shoulder. And then we see Andy Sullivan with her nose. Two injured These players. players, it was a physical game. So she uh, goes down with her shoulder. So that's not good for Germany. So that really impacts Germany. You know, she actually ended up being subbed out after that. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was a major blow for Germany. So as much as, you know, you want to win, you know, you hate seeing such a great player getting hurt. You hate to say any player get hurt, but to leave and, you know, you, you never want to see anyone get hurt. Right, exactly. So Lena Oberdorf went down. Um, but, you know, it kind of helps the USA, you know. USA, in the first half, although the USA didn't look bad, they were kind of lackluster. You know what I mean? It was kind yeah. of a lackluster first half. Going in the second half, I, I think out the gate they look, they already looked better. Then this is where things were getting serious. In the 52nd minute, Sarah and I, I think our neighbors, neighbors down the street heard us screaming. Uh, <laughs> there was a ball. Again, I'm not quite sure. Oh, maybe it was Magul. She um, she had a duel off with Alyssa and freaking Alyssa won. It was amazing. God, yes. It was uh, amazing. One on one. And that's. I mean, it was such a tricky ball and it was such a brave. Uh, she took a freaking risk. Yes. That could have easily been a goal. But Listener came through. She, obviously, she has so much experience, but she has so much confidence. You see the confidence in her eyes. You see her confidence making that save. I mean, and no fear. She doesn't have any fear. Uh, but that was an amazing save. Um one-on-one battle. Love her. And I mean, Sarah and I were screaming. After that, th- there was about a three, four minute sequence where we were screaming our heads off because 50 yeah, constantly <laughs> 50 second minute. There was the, the big save by listener. Then just a minute later, Sophia Smith scores and a banger. Yes, it was. It was such a nice ball. And it was she kind of went through three German players and just shot it. Um, and then I thought it was so cute. Sophia went directly over to Pino and hugged Pino. That was actually really sweet. Um, and I mean, at that point, I think the team really had its complete confidence. It had the most, it had more confidence yeah. than we'd seen him for four games. And I think Miss, uh, and I think Alyssa Nair kind of, yeah, I got that in motion with her amazing save. And yes. Like, it hyped know, up everyone. They Be- feed off the energy. They feed off of each other's yes. energy. Like, you know, oh, you're playing amazing. Well, let me also play amazingly. Right. So nice. So pumped. Equalized the goal. Then, I mean, I wasn't even fully recovered from this goal (laughs) at this point. She was still on the floor. I was on the floor. (laughs) A minute later, I guess it's Annie Sullivan. She kind of um, hits a cross or a lob and then it goes right to right to Mal Pugh. Mal Pugh reads that ball so good. And she has direction. She knows where it's going. It goes right at the back of the net, and it is Beautiful. a two-one game. In the in the span of two minutes, it goes from nil, it goes from one nil to two-one in two minutes. It's the hottest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> because the commentators talked about it. a listener doesn't make that save in the fiftieth minute mm-hmm. or the fifty-first minute. Then they're up two nil, possibly. Then that goal that happened just a minute later probably wouldn't have happened in that sequence. So they would have been down, been down two nil at that point if Alyssa did not make that save. God, what a beautiful. However many minutes it was. I know. That that, that five minutes w- were the plays of the game. I mean, that yeah. sequence of five minutes were amazing. You know, after that happened, USA, they started winning the physical battles. They had more confidence. Second half was a completely different half from the first uh, yeah. from the first half. I mean, totally. you you really felt like they were going to win. Like, oh, it's the U- U.S. Women's National Team of old. Oh, they're winning. I felt confident. Like, I, everyone was feeling confident, I think, you know. It was exuded. They were, everyone was exuding confidence. And the 74th mo- moment, in the 74th minute, there was a close call by Germany if, if, the ball was struck a little bit differently. It, I could have gone could have gone in. Then it led to a corner kick. So there was some moments where Germany was very close to scoring again. The U.S. did not allow that to happen. And you know, I think in the past sometimes 
when those moments get where the, the opposite opposing team, a lot of times in the past, the USA just concedes those goals where it gets tricky right in front. Yeah. But they really had the confidence to them in this game, which was so close. 76 minute. It, um, there was a really good sequence. It was Rose, Pew, then Rose, Rose again. Um, so there was a couple moments also that were really close on the 76 minute. 78th minute, again, Alyssa Nair kind of had a scary save. <laughs> she came off her line, and it was a bit scary. Um, she came up. I don't exactly know if she was pull- – I'm not sure what her her method was there, but she came up off her line, then went back um, to her line, and then she saved the ball. Double save. Right on goal. So Icon. I don't know if that was always her plan, but – She apart. wanted to clear it even more, but she saw that she didn't clear it that yeah. well. and. You know, but luckily she saved it. She saved it. So a listener, I My mean. My hero. <laughs> and there was actually a moment, like in the 87th minute, Alexander Pop was pissed. I think they thought she missed a call. The ref missed a call. She popped off. She did. Pun intended. There was one more moment I want to talk about, obviously, um, the end of the game. End of the game comes to the 90th minute. USA is ahead. It's still 2-1. Then, at some point, Taylor Korniak was subbed in. The 91st minute, or 90th plus one minute, she had a collision with the the German goalie. She just got slammed into by the goalie. Yes. And, you know, she got to the ball first. The goalie went right to uh, Taylor Korniak in a huge collision. And it was it was a powerful collision. But what people are saying is not only... Not only was it not even called a foul, some people think it should have been a red card, but it wasn't even a yellow card. Um, so people were pretty upset about that. We're going to read a statement in a second. But what did everyone think about that? Did, were you kind of appalled at that? Do you think it should have been a card? Or I always see people in the comment section saying, you know, this is why it shouldn't have been that. So I keep that in mind. Christina, uncles of the world, please tell us why. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And at the end of the game was you as women's national team, First win in three games, four games. You're making it seem like first win ever. I know. <laughs> that was it. They won. Um, the, uh, Taylor Korniak did look okay at the end. But first of all, we'll, we'll first talk about the game. Exciting game. U.S. Women's National Team. The confidence they had in the second half can't be understated. Mal Pugh looked great. Naomi Gurma looked great. Alyssa Nair, I mean, if it wasn't for this Alyssa Nair too, it could have been a whole different story. Yeah. Those are the three MVPs of the game yeah. for me. Yeah, they look so good. So what did everyone think? I mean, it was an exciting game. But Vladko did come out and said, referee missed clear red card versus Germany. And I'll read a little bit of this. It's a pretty short story. But this is something we've been talking about. Refing, especially when it doesn't have VAR, is very, it seems like it's very sketchy at times. And it is the quality of refing as high as it should be. But well, I'm going to read a little bit from this. Vladko Andonovsky, referee missed clear red card versus Germany. U.S. Women's National Team coach Vladko Andonovsky once again criticized the refereeing his team saw in its friendlies against Germany. After first taking issue with the officiating in Thursday's loss, the head coach complained about a no-call from the Sunday's 2-1 win against Germany. Germany goalkeeper Almuth Schult collided with U.S. Women's National Team midfielder Taylor Korniak late in the match, but the official declined to call a foul. In Andonovsky's view, Schult deserved a clear red card. On the collision, for me, it's a clear red card, Andonovsky said. We saw the referee made a lot of mistakes in the game, which in this game, I thought there there was one very obvious mistake that they made and should have sanctioned it. Andonovsky was vocal after his team team's loss to Germany about the impact of the officiating, saying the referee took some things away from us. He also noted that he thought the game was a little bit too much for them. On Sunday, Andonovsky said the issues with the officiating are part of the learning process in the lead up to next summer's World Cup. We understand that sometimes we're going to have to deal with bad calls, he said, and it's part of the preparation process, how we have to be mentally strong to deal with adversity. And that's actually a good point. It's like kind of like we, we've kind of talked about sometimes calls are just not going to go your way. That's just going to be the way it's going to go. How you deal with those calls are going to be what makes a champion and what makes someone who folds when they feel like calls are going not their favor. But there's also a point of you have to make sure these calls are accurate, correct, safe for the players out there. Um, Because if you look at how many calls people would say went against the United States, they would say, well, there's been a few too many that 
were not um, in the United States favor against them. Maybe historically United States have gotten those calls. So maybe it's like karma. Um, but even in this game, actually, the Germany actually got one of their one of their yellow cards or their foul. I remember the commentators didn't think there was much to it. So even in that respect, they thought USA got a break. And that's always going to happen. But it is frustrating. I know you would want to have VAR in every single, I think you would want to have VAR mostly in games, but that's expensive and the technology is very expensive and that's not a reality for every single game for, you know, but having calls, especially ones where someone looks like they're, they could have gotten very hurt or did get hurt. Mm -hmm. That's always troubling. And people might say, you know, Vladko is just trying to get, you know, he wants to make excuses, which maybe he does. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't, but um, I think that at the very end on Taylor Korniak, that looked very dangerous. And, you know, when you're a referee at this caliber, you, you have to eat, leave, live, breathe refereeing. I mean, I, I know that sounds a little uh, much, but that kind of idea to make sure the referee is... Uh, 1000% on top of things for these important games, even though this is just friendly. So that was kind of an interesting take um, on that last uh, call. But what did everyone think? You know, I did want to read this comment from our comment section about the German team, and it got the most uh, likes on our last comment. And I think this is really important. You should also remember that Germany is one of the most successful in women's football. There are two time w world champions having won the 2003 and 2007 tournaments. The team has won eight of the 13 UEFA European Championships, claiming six consecutive titles between 1995 and 2013. Yeah, that got the most likes. And I think even if the United States were to have lost again, it actually, reading comments like that makes me realize. It would not have been devastating again. They're they're losing to these powerhouses. You don't want to see them lose again, but um, Germany is such an accomplished team, such an amazing team, that uh, losing to them would have been not ideal, but it's not humiliating in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, of course not. Because they're amazing. Um, What did everyone think? What was looking promising? You know, I've seen a lot of the commentators talk about you know, listen, Nair, she's number one goalie. You can't deny that. So, you know, what did everyone think? Game questions, comments down below. It was a very exciting game. It is the last game of 2022. The next game that United States national team will play is in New Zealand in 2023. Ooh. So those will definitely be looking forward to those. And I, I felt promising about this. I felt promising about this game. I really felt in a long time that second half was the first time I really felt they had the confidence that they were going to win. Yeah, they got the groove back. Yes, yes. <laughs> Questions, <laughs> comments down below. What did everyone think? Um, yeah, we will be back. And there's some, there was a, some exciting spectators at that game. We're going to talk about that next video. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. I was here, I promise. <laughs>